vicious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead! It's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is Head Radio Love Media Station. Just one of 900 radio stations, 300 TV stations, four network, three satellites, ten senators. Thank you! Thank you! Head Radio. Thank you. You're listening to... Talking on my cell phone. I know me and my family are safe. This commercial radio at its best and proud of it. Lips 106. In today's fast-paced world, the splits... This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Idols and my son's Little League games. <laughs> Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D vert. Let's go around the back and use the service tool. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girl. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. 
In America. Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you oh, a big, no, big great. kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss. I am because, because you do not know? Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attracted? Am I not irresistible? <laughs> Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you what not want to kiss me. I was talking... Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs to make things grow in life. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Laszlo, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, a savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost.
combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Right in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. What? You look like a regular Luigi now, huh? It's about time you got a driver. An adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me tonight. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. I'll be with you in a minute, Sparkplug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? These insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio, you Mr. Who cut up my tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, we're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but... Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's cool. called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for use of phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to... to
Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. And... Oh, man. Have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky, meet Barry the Thumb. String puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry, <laughs> Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But you're someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a boat? Well, get ready, Liberty City. This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum, yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the Internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the line? Clothes. What about them? Clothes. What are you talking about? Laszlo, clothes. Clothes, Laszlo. I hate them. I just hate them. I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier company station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line more clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess a lion has two distinct advantages over you. One, I mean, it says you say a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but... I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Did it offend you? I was born naked and I'm going to die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north of your naked body. I, I, I'm going to have to cut you off. Don't you believe in freak speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drink. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? No, uh, look, is this leading anywhere? Because, I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. 
Come on, Laszlo, you can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturists. We have more members now.